Trigonometric identity Communication part Square root of secant square x plus cosecant square x equals to tan x plus cotangent x. So how will you solve this identity? Well, we see that left side is kind of more complicated than right. So we'll start from the left side. Secondly, what we can do is we can write all these terms in terms of sine and cosine and then see what happens. So we'll start from the left side, that's first thing, and we'll write secant as which is 1 over cos. So we can write this as square root of secant square x as 1 over cos square x plus cosecant square x is 1 over sine square x, 1 over sine square x square root. Now we can take the common denominator which is cos square x times sine square x. So we get common denominator which is cos square x times sine square x. And so we can cross multiply. How will you get cos square x times sine square x? You've got to multiply by sine square x, correct? So you get sine square x plus cos square x square root. Now you know Pythagorean identity, sine square x plus cos square x is 1, correct? So we get 1 in the numerator and denominator is square root of square cos square x and sine x. So we get 1 over cos x sine x, correct? Because square root of cos square is cos x, sine square is sine x and sine square x plus cos square x is 1, okay? Square root of 1 is one. So we get that. Now we need to prove that this left side is tan x plus cotangent x. How are we going to get tan x plus cotangent x? See the trick. We wrote here, if you can see, we wrote here sine square x plus cos square x is 1. See, we know sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1. That's the Pythagorean identity, right? And we got 1. So now what we will do, we will revert back from 1 to sine square x and cos square x. So that's kind of funny. So I'll write 1 as sine square x plus cos square x divided by cos x sine x. Now I want tan first, so sine over cos, it makes sense. So let me write cos x times sine x. Now, so this could be written as sine square x divided by cos x sine x plus cos square x divided by cos x sine x. Now this is equal to now sine x and sine x will cancel out so we are left with sine x over cos x. plus cos x over sin x. And what is that equal to? That is right hand side tan x plus cotangent x. Do you see that? Sin over cos is tan. So we get tan x plus cot x which is our right side. So we proved that left side is equal to right side and therefore the identity is correct. Now this question is a part of communication, therefore in every step you should write down what you did, right? So for example here, what did we do? We wrote 1 as equal to sine square x plus cos square x, correct? And then we wrote it separately and then cancelled out sine square x and got the result. Thank you.